<laughs> we are here. Okay, so welcome to the Real Nelsons podcast, where we talk everything family, fitness, and relationships. What is a relationship? Well, it's a word that I think mm -hmm. I made up. That yeah. means it's a friendship that will develop into a relationship that could develop into a relationship like our marriage. Right, right. What? Okay. And so this is... All right. And uh, so anyways, this episode, we're gonna talk about This Is Us Now. My name is Alonzo. I am a math teacher. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is my 11th year teaching now. Even though I was born in education, my mom and my dad were teachers. Right. Um, I go by the name Mr. Do The Math. I am a yoga instructor and I'm also the co-owner of the Collective STL. We've been open for five years. And so we've been providing donation-based yoga to um, all people, but we primarily focus on people of color um, in this, the metropolitan area. I am also a track coach. Um, yeah, I know. I'm a track coach. I've been coaching for, I say I've been coaching since 2006. I agree. Um, and um, and I think my, my newest role in life is a dad. <laughs> yeah. And like, I really rock, rock with being a dad. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I mean, I've been married too. I, yeah. I was about to say you a job. husband, but that's cool. Yeah. Oh, this is a job? Yeah. Bad money. So, my okay, hi. Yep. My name is Dawn Harper Nelson. Mm. Um, I'm an Olympic gold medalist, Olympic gold and silver medalist. Um, thank you. Can you hear it screaming? Um, so, yes. And so now I'm retired. And what I do is I do commentating for track and field. I will always be close to track and field. Um, I love that my expertise over the years can kind of educate fans. Favorite part is interviewing the athletes to kind of get their stories and get that backstory of, What's about to go down? Like, what's your mindset? Yeah. Um, I do motivational speaking, um, so I travel and do that. And then another favorite kind of a thing of mine now is I do consultant work for universities where I go in to track teams, um, sports, just kind of in general, give them little tidbits of what could be kind of tweaked. Um, and then I head out. And uh, and so I'm a mom of two. Yeah, we got two little okay. girls. Yes, we have two little girls. Yeah. Um, but I'm married to this here dude, this young whippersnapper. So we've been married for 10 years. 10 years. Bam, 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 all these fingers. It's a long so, time. So, so I say, since we've hit 10, this is a joke, people, okay? 10 years, can't nobody tell us nothing. We I vets no in joke. the game. Don't tell me nothing we about vets my, in the game. Don't, don't tell me nothing about marriage. In order to talk to me about marriage, you need to be married at least 50 years. This is new information. So, um, okay, so yeah, no, I don't yeah, know. We, we pretty seasoned though. Yeah, they yeah, we are. Team. We are. Yeah. So the first, the, the thing about us is the first six years of our marriage though, we live literally apart. So six years of marriage, but like what, is that seven years all together? Cause it was we seven. dated? It was seven. For, uh, so I was still training for the Olympics. Um, so I lived in LA, went to UCLA, went to, lived in LA, and then he lived in our home here in Illinois for the so, first six years. So, so the first six years of our marriage, seven years of our relationship, <laughs> We did three weeks yep. apart. Yes. Two or three. Sometimes it was two. Nah. Sometimes it was four. Right? No. At the beginning, at the beginning, it was like two to three. You're right. Did I'm just, but this, this, you, I'm just you'll learn to, this look, is what will happen throughout this episode. I was right. Go ahead. So we do three weeks off and we'll do like three days on. Yeah, yeah. And that was that yeah. was stressful. It was. That was very stressful. It was. It was. Um, at the beginning, it was hard because again, you hook up with like you get together. You yeah. don't you don't expect to like separate right away. Mm -hmm. um, and then like towards the middle, I got into a groove, so I kind of got used to it. And then towards the end, I was like, hey, uh, one of us needs to make this. Like I'm, I'm either moving out to LA with yeah. you, or uh, you come. You need to come. So home, let me so. ask this question though. So let's just be honest. You're a man six years of, for the most part, not having your wife at home. Like, Man. how was that? Um, so to be to be frank, it was very hard, but mm -hmm. um, that's when you have to like, you have to surround yourself with, with like minds, right? Mm -hmm. It's like one of those yeah, iron sharpens iron. So, um, and this, like, I intentionally su surrounded myself with yeah. happily married, happily married men. That's that, right? Yep. That's, that's, it's a big difference between a married man and a happily married <laughs> man. Say it. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, and so um, we held each other accountable. We yeah. we did stuff together. Um, and so I made friends like that. And I think that helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. I was involved in a lot of organizations because an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So I could not, you better tell I her. could not be better apart from her and just be chilling yeah. like in my yeah. house, like by myself or like going out and about alone, like, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Setting myself up for, uh, for failure. So yeah, nah. I, I was intentional about that, but it is, don't get me wrong, it's it's hard. I think 
for us, we did it in one of those perfect windows because mm -hmm. like Skype, yeah, Skype had evolved to FaceTime. <laughs> I was about to say, wait, we went we FaceTime. Started out, we started we, off with Skype, you know. Did we? Yeah, because we was Blackberries. Like we had Blackberries at first, right? How do you remember this? Cause this, I'm so look. As you can see, I'm the sentimental one. I remember everything. But yeah, That's so we started off with. Uh, I love you. We started off with Skype and then Skype evolved to uh, Blackberries. I mean, not Blackberries, to FaceTime. Yeah. So then FaceTime made it a lot easier. This is true. Um, this is true. And um, then the other challenge was like the time. The time's mm -hmm. gonna change. Yeah, yeah, time's right? gonna change. That was wasn't too, that was, dramatic. Yeah, it, it was but, It was cool for us because you don't want to go to sleep early. Yes. I don't know when I can stay up until yes. I pass out. So yeah. we made it through the six years, which is like, hooray, hooray. Yeah. And so as soon as I came home, y'all, she pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. And so now, where we are now is our munchkins. We have two girls, uh, yeah. four, Harper is four, that's the oldest, and then there's Zoe, who's eight months. And yeah. so for me, Harper, four, she has started pre-K. Y'all gonna pray for me. Now, what I'm, what I'm surprised about- Pre-K is college. What I'm surprised about is I did, I was not as weepy with her yes. starting pre-K as she did daycare. Because daycare, daycare it was like, a full almost, scene, like slow, I functional. Sl slow like, music, like they yeah. did the like embrace. Like I was on the outside recording them like, what is this? Like, she would have hugged me one more corner. time. If she would have hugged yeah, me one more going. time, I was going to weep. Oh, okay. <laughs> For real. I was, it was, it was, I was on the borderline because my eyes was like welling up. And as soon as she like, the second squeeze, she pushed me, that, that, that get that chair back up. <laughs> I was like, all right, we I good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyways, I was sad, but I thought that I was gonna cry a little more for her pre-K day. Really? Um, yeah, but like I didn't. She was, she was just ready. And y'all know what it's like. She's, she like, we walked her in the building, and she like was like, "Can I go over with my friends?" First of all, pause. Where we're you your friends only friends. From? I, um, yeah. You don't even know these kids. No, but she, she was ready to go and make friend. friends. She's you know? my friend. Yeah, she just so she was, you know, and it was yeah. just it, what it was, was. It was really beautiful to see this little bitty young lady now. Okay? No, don't say young that lady. She's a she's little a bitty young girl. Lady. Like she just got they out of being, raising. like she just got out of being a toddler. Like you can't go that fast. I'm just accepting that she's a girl. She is a toddler at first. Yep, got it. Yep. <sighs> uh, so anyway, so then there is Zoe, who's Zoe, eight months, yeah. and Zoe, I she's the boss. She the boss baby. Like she 100%. is very much. Um, <laughs> she, she not gonna smile for you if she don't want to. Like you, I, we've had people chucking and jiving. Like, I mean, she, literally she chucking run, and jiving. She and she's run the like, house. nah. She run the house. She does. Uh, but what we try to do is also, she runs it, but we make sure that Harper still has her time and is not always like, yeah, woo Zoe, woo Zoe. Yeah. But anyway, so now she's crawling, y'all. She, she got, pulling up. She, she looking like she trying to list up. No, she got the two teethuses at the bottom. So yeah. her smile is awesome. Um, we just in here like flowing, but what I will say, and I need to address you all, if you're looking at me right now, um, stay out of my uterus. And when I say that, um, I'm like serious uh -oh. slash joking because we got two girls. Everywhere we go. Everywhere, not Everywhere we go. Not kind of. You gotta try for that boy. You gonna try for a boy? If it was that easy. But it's not, but the thing is, is when you guys ask that question, it kind of can be offensive because when you're asking the question, you also say, um, you you gonna do him like that? You not gonna give him his boy? You just mm, gonna you just yeah. gonna? But so first of all, know. no, that kind of implies that I'm being a bad wife. though. One hundred percent. So it, it ain't kind of offensive. Yes, right. You know that is saying? very offensive. Kinda, yeah. So first of all, telling me I'm not giving him his boy, I wanted a boy too. Like I like I actually had some tears. Like oh my goodness, I don't think I'm gonna have a boy. Yeah. So that already my own emotions kind of going on. But mm -hmm. then real talk. Y'all don't even know I almost died after Zoe. So it's like yeah. it's called really it's called mind your business. So 100%. for us ladies, like all women. We'll have another kid if we want, or we won't have a kid if we want. For so sure. for me, it's just like, ha, 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 slash, hey, nah, I'm tired of going talk. to the grocery store and y'all making me want to cry because I only have two girls because girls are shocker, failures. The shocker be how bold people are. Though. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, don't need, we ain't even cool like that. No, we you don't know, know them. Yeah. Not cool. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, people feel like they know us. Yeah, though. they do. Yeah. yeah. But you don't. So they, they, yeah, they yeah. can't say No, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So we got our two munchkins and now I'm like home home. Like I'm home with two kids. Your house is no longer empty, sir. Our yeah. house is full. Like, how do you like me being retired though? So, um. Just in the house noise. You hear this noise? La la la. Like me and the girls, we just, we breathe. It's one of those, it's, breathe. I got mixed emotions about it, right? So, um, so mixed feelings, not mixed emotions, mixed feelings. <laughs> 
No, I no, still, no. I still need you to explain. Because <laughs> mixed means good and bad. This this is where I'm going, right? So, like, there was a lot of good, like, in our traveling. Like, you know, when you was competing, like, mm -hmm. I missed the traveling, right? Oh, okay. You talking yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought Mi you was, like, not home mixed and, like, I like got like mixed feelings. Is no, but different? I still, no, no, no. I just still was thinking you were talking about just me being in the house, period. Like, uh, I like you being home, but I don't like, like you being Like, you being home. here with me? Yeah. That's cool. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm... I, <laughs> Like I said, like it got really hard us being apart yeah. the last like the last two years of your career. So like now that you're home and like it was different, but then this is even more different because like you came home pregnant. Mm -hmm. Then after you came after you got pregnant, you I mean after we had harp, uh, you started training again. Yep. So it was like much of like the mm -hmm. same, mm -hmm. but different. And then we just had Zoe Bear, and now you're like you're done. Yeah. Right. So. Um, the, the, the parts that I miss are, like, I I miss, like, the travel, right? You, like, yeah. as soon as school year was out, June, we start jet set, yep. right? So I miss that type of months. stuff, you know what I mean? Um, I love that you're at home, though, because mm -hmm. I, like, I hated being it. Like, I didn't, I never really moved in the house, mm -hmm. right? Well, I, I moved in, but you never really moved in yeah. the house. So it was just like, yeah, you can definitely tell when you was there, yeah. right? Um, I love that we got a little, we got little girls now, so mm -hmm. we're starting to fill up the house. Um, I I miss and I don't miss the stress of you racing. Like Ooh, when you used same, to race, when same. you used to race, like my like, heart rate would pick up. I probably wouldn't breathe for the whole race. And then I'm like waiting real. by the phone. Like I naturally, so us being together for so long, whether I was watching it or not, I would naturally start to tense up mm -hmm. every time you was getting ready. Heart rate right. just rising. Yeah. In the classroom. Your race always went off around 7.30, 8 o'clock in Europe. And that's like noon ish. It here. was like eight nine. It was. I wish I had a seven o'clock race. And my heart rate was you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. what's the results? Yeah. So like, I mean, I I do and I don't miss that. I love like the just everything that came with like mm -hmm. the travel, the glitz mm -hmm. and glam of it all. But like, I would take this life over that. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not, well, thank you. Yeah, that's for nice. sure. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. So I think you're ready to come out. Yeah. So. I was ready to come home. You ready to come after me? You figure it out. Why are you such a okay? So real talk. So for me, on I really want us to talk about like why we are doing this. Like yeah. why are we? Why did we decide that the Nelsons, the real Nelsons, needed a podcast? Well, divorce is expensive. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> but episode over. Like what? But no. like no. So mm -hmm. so I, like oh, nineteen year old us. Yes. A 19-year-old couple is way different than a 29-year-old 29. 29. couple, which is way different than a 39-year-old 39, 39 couple. that's where we at, 39. So, like, yeah, like, we not no boppers. Like, yeah, we'll still dance from here to there or whatever, but, like, we got real-life stuff that yeah. we're dealing with, yeah. right? Just like most couples. And so how do we navigate that? Yep. So we want to talk about how to navigate those things, those changes, like, Basically, you know I mean? we want to have real grown-up conversations real grown about, up conversations. like, marriage, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yes, I mean, still touching on, obviously, the things, like, this kind of first year in, second yeah. year, but, like, we 10 years in now, and we have yeah. two girls, and just some decisions and conversations are just different than when you're 29, 19, yeah. just when you don't know. Yeah, and, you ain't fussing at me for not walking you to class. Like, this, we passed that type of stuff, right? You know? But like, you gonna open my car door? For sure. Yeah. You gonna pump my gas? Uh-huh. But if I don't text back, you ain't mad at me. Nah, like I had stuff to yeah. do, you had stuff to do. Like I'm not, I'm so I'm so confident. I, it's weird, I would, yeah. something would really be wrong if I got like upset that you didn't like. If, if I'm away for a, a long time, I'm calling. I'm letting you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, like, uh, look, a topic that um <clears throat> we will discuss, or we did discuss, uh, we were on the Marriage Be Hard. We had yeah. Kev on stage and Miss Kev on stage. I just couldn't. So it off. we discussed, he bald. Let me be clear, we did not get married and he looked like this. No, like, see, this see when we got different... married, I had like 360 waves. This so let me say like, this. He said, this I brought like this black. up. I brought this up about him being bald. And he said, Yeah, I had them 360 waves. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Like so I, look, I knew. So look for but three sixty way. But no, let me say this. He brings this up to every guy when it's somehow a conversation always just starts about being bald. And they're like, me too. Oh, they take their hand off. Yeah. Oh, blah 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 blah. No, nah, and yeah, then, for and then sure. both of them three sixty way. What is this three? It's a whole thing in the black male community that us women we didn't we saw it, but we didn't know about. I know you talking no, them butters. Sure. That means it's in the back, on the sides, and the front, right? Yeah, and and like so we got we got our hair together for y'all. 
I don't know He's why y'all true. get y'all hair together. Do y'all get it together for us or do y'all get it together? I mean, a little bit, but like, I'm yeah, just nah, trying to be so like that when I need to have like purpose, that girl. The sole purpose of hair for men is to impress the ladies. And so, you know what I mean? Like, so if you got a shortcut, it needs to be wavy. If it's a little bit bigger, you got to have the little, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm, little, mm -hmm. the little things, which I had before. <laughs> and did. then if it's long, you need to have them locked. So you need to have them. And so <laughs> I, let me just say this part, I agree with that. It's funny. So how he now has no hair, I'm gonna say less hair. He has no hair. It's I'm gonna tell y'all, this is my tip to you women. Cause I've had women that are like, hey, what did you do? Y'all better get you two kids. <laughs> Every pregnancy, huh. my hair was thriving. Do you yeah. hear me? You better show up, show on this side. This, this is different. This is, di no, for real talk. Yeah. Like, I really did. Like, my mother in law, she's like, you know, when I had, you know, when I got pregnant with my daughter, she just stripped so me of so much. Yeah. I was like, so and, I was kind of nervous did, when yeah, I thought I was my having. My girls did good to you. Listen, yeah. after Harper, I was like, put me on a box. Your girl yeah. is ready to be in a commercial, like, killing it. So, anyway, so my tip to women, y'all better have y'all some kids. Maybe they took my hair. That's what happened. Man, girls be doing you wrong, man. Hey, it is what it is. I just got tired of putting the little filler in. Like, he did, so that's a whole nother. myself out. Check this we'll out. We'll talk about we that talk, for I was just day. about to say, it's we'll an, talk about that another episode. Day. But, but yeah. But no, yeah. this is, I mean, honestly, this is us now. We felt like it was just deserving to kind of sit down, give yeah. a quick, you know what I mean? Like run through of where we are, kind of what things we're excited about, our kind of tidbit of every day. Uh, but yeah, this we is- We like, like each other. We've been together for 20, like we, we've known each other for over 20 years. We've been married for 10 years. And like, just want to give y'all some nuggets, things mm -hmm. that we've learned, little tricks of the trade. Right, right. Um, on family, fitness, yes. and it's relationships. relationships. So y'all having real talk with the real Nelsons. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Ding, ding. Peace. <laughs>